808, the King K rule versus Suck em to Lucas. Man, I've been seeing some Lucas's online doing some sh nasty stuff. I mean, I've heard it been said that like Lucas feels like an almost incomplete character. Like all their tools are really well suited to edge guard between the up B, the side B, the, uh, the neutral B, and um, some of those aerials. Then like their combo game too. Three up airs for the fun of it. Kinky has got to get started here. Got some room to catch up. Yeah. Great little cross up there with that in air. Love to see it. 130%. Now, one thing I do want to wonder is if the down smash hits the uh, the uppy from um, from King K. King K's got a bit of a propeller action going on, so sometimes he can be safe from upwards attacks, but or downwards, I should say. Good stall with that uppy. That's the down smash. Okay, didn't hit this time. I did hit the propeller, so I'm assuming as he went for it that the down smash does hit. <laughs> You're gonna have to kill this King K, and uh, it's pretty heavy. Combined with that side B super armor. Oh no, that's a back throw. Yeah, can't be throwing in that up smash. So much end like on that thing. Uh, what do we see here for that ledge trap? A little delayed forward air. Gonna fall through plat, of course. Oh, messes up the second snake though. He had the loop going. Now that loop can take you to the edge at almost any percent. A bit of a music synchronization going up here, and now 80% already on this uh, alligator here. The crocodile, he's gonna be a crocodile. Not bad. Oh, that was a kill. Up throw. Well done, well done. Found it there, 80%. You know what, first super heavy? Not the worst, not the worst. What do we get started here? These projectiles haven't been working out too, too well. They've kind of been uh, getting counter uh, projectiles. Oh, dude, I love that. The forward air. On the, um, not only the forward air on the side B, but the recognition that he can get one down tilt in and then he had to jump away to return from the returning boomerang. Of course, he has the reflector. Okay. Another up B here. Moving King K further and further out, but that recovery is good. Good tech. Good tech. Dodge there. It says, uh, 34. Yeah, that's about a kill percent. You got me to 170, I get you to 35. We're, we're not the same. Oh, that is going to kill. Yeah, no one has that type of match. 170% not frozen. Gonna be that kill there. But I think he has caught up a little bit. Especially if he's able to take a stock here pretty early. Goes for that up smash again. No grab. Just the forward air out of shield. Mm, I love that. Waiting for that spot dodge. Believe that um, when uh, in case side B's, he has almost a full second of super armor. It might be more than that too. But he's kind of able to. Um, oh, this is way too high. What? He goes around it. He says, "Oh, okay. that side B's gonna do it though. That side B doesn't kill unless you're in the blast zone, as the King K was." Oh, Monty's in chat. If that is you, hello, hello. Alright, gonna be that game one going to the Lucas here. I think that is Sock, correct? Except I think that's Sock. Three, two, one, go! Game two. What a battlefield. Interesting choice. I, I think, um. Uh, Ooh. Good little confirm there. I love that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is an SD. Yeah, he was able to hit the stage, but the upbeat didn't come out. The second one. Yeah, I think this King K knows. He got a uh, precious gift right there. Better not waste it. Well, that's side, bro. Okay, let's see what we can get started here. Is he STIing out? I'm not insane. Back to ledge here. You do not want to be here as a big boy. I've seen that Zaire to ledge. That's pretty quick cracks. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. He got over there fast. He managed to keep him even percent. So even without the SD, he kind of be doing well. What's up? Yes. Sorry, I had to 
do a quick a bit of a halt swap there. Fool got called for stream. Um, sorry, Fool got called for his match on Station 2, so let me pick up where we are right now. So it looks like we are at Sockum 16 versus 808. So King K. Rule versus Lucas. Not a matchup you see every day, so um, looks like we have Malcolm 16 up 1 to 0. Um, once again, this is Melpool uh, on, the, on, the, on the mic for you guys. Um, this game 2 on Battlefield. So, looking at this, the game right now, we have uh, the King Kelly rule up a stock. Um, this could be good stage control here, looking for the suck with the blunderbuss and. and and, um, well, that was a thing. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be the King K. Rule taking that game. And, um, looks like we're going to have a game three. It was a very interesting, it was a very interesting end to that game. It was, uh, not quite expecting that. All right, so here we go, game number three. It's going to be back on PS2. One of this will take on Leviathan, our top seed, um, in winner's round four. All right, King K. Rule here is... Oh, that was an unfortunate uh, swing in the wrong direction for the Lucas. Um, as, oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to hit the uh, crown back at, the, uh, at King K. Rule. I didn't realize you could... I haven't seen that before, but the strategy from Lucas, okay, using the counter to get through the uh, PK freeze, but NK Rule has got a very good recovery, so can make it from very, very deep in the stage. Just able to nair through, but good edge guarding on the part of this Lucas. Um, really just able to get this damage and calls out that jump there with that forward air, so that's going to be taking the stock. So, again, um, Uncom 16, looking at my notes, is the, uh, Lucas from Arizona. Pretty solid, pretty solid player, um, and 808, if, obviously, is the King K. Rule from Rhode Island. We do have quite a few New England players here, obviously Leviathan, the most notable name is our top seed. Um, but we have quite a few people here from Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Back to the match here, we have um, the Lucas with the bit of an advantage here. Okay, was expecting the tech roll in. I've got an idea right at Lucas, but um, good discipline from the K rule. Not falling for it. 808 is uh, trying to set up the blunderbuss, maybe trying to fall down. There it is. Good patience by the Lucas to not fall for that. Definitely got both players' experience in this particular matchup. All right, just jumping out of the range of that grab for the King Rule. Way to wait, trying to recover here. Again, you got that PK Thunder, but once again, K Rule's recovery is very, very good. Does get hit by the Conorang. That super armor for K Rule definitely playing dividends in this particular matchup. This is going to be a very and should be a very easy conversion to stock. But that being said, the Lucas still in pretty good control here of Sockham 16. Alright, just try to air dodge back to center stage. Uh, sorry, uh, try to tech ro uh, roll into center stage. Again, that super armor, the uh, crown toss. Playing dividends there for the K rule. 808. Oh my goodness. Looking for the home run there. Trying to get themselves back into this. Um, trying to take a quick stock early. But ultimately, it is Lucas that takes the stock here. There. Into a down air. You see, it's the counter out. Um, but Sockham, they're doing very, very good here, but there's a grab into the back throw to reverse stage control here. King K. Rule with stage control, but a bit of an errant down smash. Um, force the air dodge, that's very, be taken advantage of by 808 with that dash attack. King K. Freeze does connect, catches Lucas up, uh, sorry, catches K. Rule up high, oh my goodness, looking for the home run there with the F smash. Not going to be able to get it, but is able to... Oh, wow. That was down smash, I believe, and it's enough to take the game. 
on the set. So Stockholm 16, the Lucas will move on to winners round four to take on Leviathan. Other scores that I'm looking at here in winners round three. Temporary plan over TK 